Hello people, I hope you all are doing great. So today in this video, we are going to learn how to perform SCD2 without using the SCD components. So there is a component in talent which is CRC0. Okay, using this component, it will perform the SCD2 uh, full process. Okay, and it is a very simple to use. So let's get started with this video. I have start, I have used here uh, this text files for the comparison, but you can use here MySQL or uh, Salesforce connection. Any other data sources can be used instead of files. Okay, so I have created two files. Uh, one is file one, another one is file two. We we have only two header. First one is file name and other one is ID. Okay, same to same. So before starting with the video, let me tell you what is like how it uh, what are the main important point using this comp for using this component first point these two file or these two sources should have the similar schema okay their data type should be same their definition should be same okay like if you, you are comparing data so if you want to compare data then the column name and their data type must be same for you uh, if you want to use this component okay I am uh, like this um, case taken care of case sensitivity and even their data type also. Okay, now we are connecting these uh, two data sources with this component, and you can see there there is an extra column which is CRC. It is automatically with this component. Okay, and it is type of long here also. Okay, now what is the now, this is the main, most important part, like the schema should be similar for both the uh, data sources, okay? Now, coming to file, what, what I wanted to perform, like first one is, uh, for both the files have ID, okay? So, I have used a joining based on this ID only and I have uh, done the inner join. Now, first I would like to show you that uh, if id matches from first file to the second file that means it is the existing data if file one has few ids and file two are missing those ids then definitely we will consider that as a new id that need to be inserted okay so how we can do that i hope scenario is clear like this is my freshly data coming and this was the existing data file two okay now i have to compare this freshly coming data with the existing data. So, so if any ID is existing in this file, but not in, in missing from this file, then we will consider it as a new data. Either we can insert or we can ignore, depends on the requirement, okay? So I have used here inner join and the, uh, with the help of this option, which is the catch lookup inner join reject so whatever the rejection of these uh, after the joining will be considered as the new data okay so all the new recorded will be caught in this part and i have i am printing crc component value from both the uh, files okay for both the data sources now coming to this section what is output two output two is that if my file if the inner joining happened okay all the id matches and the data is coming out here there generate a crc value crc value means let me first print and then show you crc automatically gets generated for each row okay like suppose first file is this okay for 45 id this is the file name and uh, CRC randomly get generated like four, five, 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 something like this. Way, okay. And uh, here also, uh, if the ID is 45 and the text file name is text.csv, it will generate the same ID, same CRC ID. Okay. You will uh, see while, when I will run the job. Okay. And if there is any little difference also in the full row, it compares full row data. Okay then it will generate different CRC value. Let's just see. Let me just remove this part. Now it will catch all the inner join data. Okay, so all the data should be coming. You will see here that for the 45th ID, 
first from the first source of data this crc got generated and from the second source of data also same code generated so this is the random thing generated by talent itself okay depending on the row, uh, row data full row data okay let me show you something more interesting now what i will do this is output to here if the id is existing in both the files but i will change the file name for both the ids we will see that uh, what the uh, crc code will be generated for suppose for this 10th id let me generate here 31 okay 31 and here for the 10th id it is just test3.csv file now i am running this job ID is existing in both the files, but their CRC will be different. See here, what I did, why it is coming, that I will also tell you. But before that, not printed, just a second. Okay, so this is very interesting uh, component if you want to use and apply a CD in your job. See, so what I was catching this output to, if data exists in both the sources and there is any little difference in the value, then please catch here in this row, okay? And it catch for the 10th ID that yes, this is the, because I'm passing from the freshly sourced data, that's why it is throwing me 31.csv. And this CRC value is totally different. Let me print here this uh, CRC value also. We will able to see what is the exact difference in their CRC value. This is randomly generated by talent itself, okay? See, for the 10th, from the first source of file, this CRC code generated. And for this uh, second source of file, it got something code like this way, okay? So now I hope you get it what I'm trying to show you how to generate CST. Okay, first I have taken inner join depending on the ID and in the first section of the part, I will be catching all the new records by just selecting this component as a true. Okay, all the new, new records will be generated here. Second part, what I'm saying that if it is not new, that means it exists in both the source, sources. Okay. Now I have to catch the value difference. So what I have, what I did that if the CRC code of first source of data and the CRC code of second source of data, please subtract it. Okay. If it is not zero, then pass that particular record in this section. Okay. If it is not zero, that means definitely there is some difference in the value of that particular ID. Okay. Now this will be your Either you can update that particular record or you can just have a log file for, for that. Or this is for the, it is not uh, like unique the inner join failing. That means we are catching that unmatched ID. Let me show you how we can get the new data also now. In the first one, I already told you that for the 10th ID, we have difference in the value. So it is printing there. Now I want a in my freshly source, uh, source uh, data, okay, we have a new ID. And it is missing in the existing data, okay. L let's just run it and see whether we uh, able to catch this new record or not. So yes, one record is passed here and one record we have here. My existing one same 10th id and the new one we have printed that yes 100 id is the new id which we have from the fresh data, uh, data sources okay and see the crc which is generated from this file and the uh, this file crc will be null because it don't exist in that particular source okay so by using this you can just apply SCD2, okay? Uh, from here, you can extend a TMAP and then we can insert or update based on some particular ID as we do in SCD2 also. So I hope this is clear to you. And the last point, which I forgot to mention, 
mentioned suppose there are multiple columns here and you want to compare based on only few particular columns not every column you want to compare value okay like a, for example in this student table we have roll number id roll number id parent name and uh, address mobile number whatever but you just want to focus on the uh, mobile number a father name mother name and address then you can just have that selection of column also okay like i just want to compare with the id only okay similarly same selection should be here also the matching should be same otherwise crc code will be generated differently okay if i have removed the file name here file name uh, unchecked the this column part that means if there will be any value difference in the file name for a particular id it will not catch as a uh, new data or fresh data or updated data let's see this also okay inner join is so in the existing data we are not uh, that is not catching 10th height jo first one this 10th ID is not getting cached because we have the difference in file name value, but we have unchecked from here, this component, we have unchecked it. That's why it is not catching as an updated value. Okay, so what you are selecting here, that also be taken care and the uh, sequence of column name should be same in both the components. This is very important, okay? The only uh, crucial part of this component, maintain the schema name, schema name properly in both the components and check only the columns which you want to compare okay i hope you understand uh, i am a, i am able to make you understand this topic very clearly thank you for watching my video take care bye bye